We are back in Malacology today because it turns out there's more to urban mollusks than just snails. Hey Jan, it's good to see you again. Hey Chris, thanks for coming. Oh, my pleasure as always. So today I was hoping you could tell us about slugs in Los Angeles. What is a slug? Happy to talk about slugs. Not that many people are interested in them, but they should be for various reasons. <laughs> slugs are terrestrial mollusks, so they're gastropods. They're like snails in almost all ways, except they don't have an external shell, which is why people probably recognize them as slugs, right? They're just slimy. So they can't pull their bodies into their shell to keep from drying out. So they have to have to be in places where there's water all the time. So some slugs can dig down and make like a little mucus container ball that they curl up inside of. Yeah. <laughs> and then they can stay there until conditions get better. In other words, it rains and then they could come out. So I have some of these snails that are estivating if you want to see them. Yes, I absolutely do. So these have been estivating for about three weeks. So they're fine. Um, these are mostly cornuous spursum, so that's the common European garden snail. So imagine you're a snail and you say, wow, conditions are not good for me. There's either no food or it's way too hot or there's no water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some surface. I'm going to stick my foot out with a special kind of slime and that's going to stick my shell to that surface. How many kinds of slime? Do these guys make? In slugs, there's usually body slime, so their body will have a kind of slime on it. <laughs> and then their foot will have a slime on it. The slime is useful to you too, because I know it's hard to identify these sometimes because mm -hmm. a lot of them are small and they look the same, but you can use the slime to identify them, is that right? I mean genetically? Yeah. Yeah, so we could sort of like a DNA test to figure out your ancestry. They'll ask you to do a cheek swab. Yeah. What we can do with slugs, because they have so much slime, we can just um, swab with a a regular cotton swab their body and then use that to extract DNA and then figure out what they are from a couple genes. That is fantastic. Yeah. Jan, I had no idea that there are so much interesting details about s slime that we could learn from slugs and that you were actually doing uh, slug CSI here in and Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm thrilled that you asked. <laughs>